Hello everyone, welcome to Dental Art. In this video, I'm going to talk about tooth extraction instruments, which is so important to us during surgical procedures like extraction procedure. But before I start this video, please subscribe our YouTube channel and like this video. Okay, don't waste time and let's start this important and interesting topic. Actually, before extraction, we have to do anesthesia. So in this case, we need inject anesthetic solution. At this moment, we need one dental syringe and this cartridges, which is contain anesthetic solution. About anesthetic solution, I already uploaded one video and uh, uploaded inside the dental art YouTube channel. You can search and find it easily. So in this slide, I'm going to talk about needle of anesthesia syringe. There is two types of needle, short and long. In case of maxillary teeth anesthesia, we have to use short needle. But in case of mandibular teeth anesthesia, we have to use long needle. So after the anesthesia, we have to wait for approximately 15 minutes. And after that, we can continue our extraction procedure. In second step, we have to use dental elevator. And also you can see here a picture which is contained many types of dental elevator. I'm going to introduce each of them. But before that, let's check the parts of one dental elevator it has handle shank and blade so let's move on the first elevator which is called a straight elevator and it is used for luxating pay attention to blade of a straight elevator it is actually insert under the gingiva and we can start the luxating this movement i mean luxating decrease the attachment between pdl and alveolar bone and the tooth will be ready for extraction now the second type of elevator which is called triangular pay attention to blade of this elevator it is looks like a triangle that's why it's called triangular elevator this is used for remaining root removing after extraction maybe root fracture will happen so in this case we can use this elevator to adopt and remove this remaining root inside the socket The third elevator, which is called peak elevator, look at the blade. Also, we can use this elevator for root tip removing. Pay attention to this picture. There is root tip inside the socket. By this elevator, we can easily find it and easily remove it. After luxating by a straight elevator, we have to choose appropriate forceps. But there is two types of forceps. If you pay attention in this picture, some of them has angle, but some of them is straight and there isn't any angle. So if there is angle in a structure of forceps, it means that they are belong to mandibular forceps, but if they are straight and there isn't any angle they belong to maxillary forceps so let's summarize like this if there is angle they belong to mandibular forceps but if there isn't any angle and they are straight they belong to maxillary extraction forceps
Now let's move and check on maxillary forceps. First of all, let's start by maxillary incisor forceps. They have a straight handle and this is the working part that we are adopting. For example, in this case, you can check how we are adopting the forceps and start for extraction like this. Now let's check about maxillary premolar forceps. The, extract, the structure is same in the working part and there isn't any angle. But look at the shape of handle. There is S shape handle in case of premolar forceps. And in this picture, you can see how we are adopting and start the extraction procedure. Now let's move on maxillary molar forceps in case of first and second molar. You can see the handle same as premolar forceps. It is S shape. But pay attention to working part. There is a beak here. What's the function of this beak, why it's designed already. So let's check. For answer of this question, we have to check morphology, root morphology of maxillary molars. There is two buccal roots and there is palatal root. So this beak will locate and place between two buccal root that's why it's designed so this beak will locate and place between two buccal roots now let's check about maxillary third molar forceps the working part is same as first and second molar forceps but pay attention to handle the length is different and it's longer than it is longer than the previous, I mean, longer than first and second molar forceps. Why? It's clear because the third molar is located far from other teeth and midline. So the increase in length of the forceps will help us to find and achieve better to third molar. Now let's move on mandibular forceps and check all of them. In case of mandibular incisors, as you can see, it has a straight handle, but pay attention to this angle. So it means when there is angle, it's belonging to mandibular forceps. And in this picture, you can see how the dentist adopted this forceps and extracted the incisor. Now let's check about mandibular premolars. The structure is same as previous one. And you can see how we are adopt and start the extraction procedure. Now let's move on mandibular first and second molar extraction forceps. Pay attention to working part please. There is too big. Why there is too big? Why they are designed? So let's check morphology of the root in case of mandibular molars. There is two roots. So one of these peaks will locate between the root on the buccal side and another one will locate in opposite side between the lingual roots so that's why it has two beaks because there is two placement 
between the roots, one of them on buccal side and one of them on lingual side. Okay, last slide, let's check about mandibular third molar. The structure is the same on working part, but same as maxillary third molar extraction forceps, it has a long handle, which is help us to achieve better to third molar and extract it. So that was a video about tooth extraction instruments. I hope it was useful and interest for you. Please subscribe our YouTube channel and like this video. Thanks for watching this video. Till next video, take care and bye bye.